Hey, it's Hot 937, man, Buck and Reggie in the morning. Special guest in the studio right now, Cherry 22. I first saw this young lady in New York City at a small um, listening party okay. that they had. And I was in the front row, like, really listening to her music. <laughs> and it, it was crazy. It was hot. And, and good to meet you. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. How you feeling? Thank you for having me. I feel good. I feel um, tired a little. You're tired? It's, Is this early for you? It's not early for me, but I didn't sleep yesterday. Oh, okay. On the bus, I didn't sleep. Well, Trevor, I don't know what you did because it's been like snowing lately and raining and 25 degrees. It's nice out today. You brought some good weather with you. Did I? Yeah, you did. I'm the sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this journey of yours. You started singing as a little girl, singing around mm-hmm. the house. Mm-hmm. Um, family, your, your parents were into music? Yes. Both my parents were in a choir, so they could both sing, but they sang Ethiopian music. And you sang that too? Yeah. Um... My parents only sang in Amharic growing up. So all my home videos, we were just singing Ethiopian songs. Just singing. No no fun playing it outside. Just singing in the videos. Yeah, it was. It felt like American Idol. It was always <laughs> like, camera, go. And then they just sang. Uh, can you sing better than your mom? Sometimes I think back and I'm like, could my parents even really sing? <laughs> because you know they're going to see this the more you learn. Because now I'm a singer, and I know singers, and I'm like, mm. That's like, like uh, when, when your parents tell you stories as a kid. Right? And then and you, you look back, and you're like, like mm. she was a little pitchy. Yeah. But she, you know, she could sing. She was very high. He was very, my dad was very low. Now, sometimes you started doing covers on vi- in videos and everything, mm-hmm. and you got discovered that way. How you, you, did, you did it in a time where everyone was doing it. A lot of people were trying yeah. to get discovered. Yeah. And you had to fight. It's even worse now. But, oh, yeah, it's way hard. But it's you had to find your niche. How did you find your niche? Which, how did you pick the songs to sing? Did you think about what the songs that you had to sing, or you just grabbed anything? No. I, I, I remember um, both of the times that they actually like did something and went like somewhat viral. Um, it was just like songs that I was listening to. Like The first one was Work by Rihanna, and at that time, that song was huge. Yeah. Yep. And I love Rhi. So I was like, we were just in the hallway at school, and I was like, I'll just sing this song. Um, and then with Waves, the second one, the Kanye song, uh, it was my birthday, and I'm pretty sure I was kind of drunk. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, fuck it, let's do that song. Now, when you noticed the views started picking up, what, what, were, you, what were you saying to yourself? What were people telling you when you seen the views start going up and up and up? I thought I was famous. Yeah. I was Out like, the gate. I'm, yeah, I was like, oh, my God. I went from, I went from how much was it, like 400 followers to like 4,000, like overnight. So at that time, that was crazy. Ooh. So I was like, I'm Justin Bieber. Like, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Dad. I need security already. Like, I need wait. security. Dad, I, I'm, I'm moving oh. different out here now, Dad. You know I told my dad to quit his job. After 4,000 followers? I, swear to God, <laughs> I literally told my dad, like, a week after. I was like, you know, you should just quit. My dad's in finance. I was like, you should just be, That's like, a big job right there. my bookkeeper. And, like, he was like, you know, I'll, I'll be the bookkeeper, but... uh. Cherry, I'm going to keep my job for now. Oh, he laughed. He tells everyone that story. He's like, this girl's <laughs> delusional. When you got the call from um, the weekend's people, mm-hmm. what was that first conversation like? It was a DM. It was a DM? It was a DM Ooh. from my manager, Cash. And at the time, he didn't even have his own Instagram. Um, he had a, his business page. So I thought it was fake. Yeah. It was like, I manage the weekend and I'd love to sign you. And I looked at my phone and and we're both Ethiopians, so like even when I started making music a little bit, people would always like make like, oh my god, I bet he's gonna see you and da da da. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Um, so when I saw that, I was like, and then I thought it was fake, and then I saw that Travis Scott followed it, so I was like, oh, okay, it's this real. is real. Yeah. Now, did you grow up in the states, or you grew up in Toronto, in Canada. Toronto Canada? Yeah. Oh, okay. And when you um, so you have like people sing songs did you, did you have an accent or anything when you started singing an accent yes N- no i don't think so no no i've always talked like this nice yeah. nice tell me about this, this project the other side the other side so the other side was my first one mm-hmm. and then the sirens on up the other siren side Siren was the second one yep. so the other side i was a little more green I definitely was like, God, I hope this works out. <laughs> so it was kind of like me manifesting the whole time. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm going to show you. Had did no you, clue. Did you learn from the other side 
when putting this project together, what things did you learn from doing the other side to this one? Oh, for sure. I was like, we got to speed it up. Yeah. We got to get some energy. For, so for Siren, I was like, I want to I wanna make bigger uh, songs. And I thought about performance a lot, which actually yeah. paid off because now when I perform, I strictly, I'm just doing my Siren set list. Mm -hmm. And it's high energy, and I feel like it's perfect because it gets the crowd going. It makes people excited. Was the first one more emotional? Was it more like stories about heartbreak and things yeah. like that? You didn't want to get into that on Siren. She was a baby. <laughs> no, because Siren is, is it's like a, it's a character in a sense. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't want to go too far away from the aura of a Siren. Sirens mm -hmm. are very dominant, and they're very right. confident, and they just pop shit all day, so... I didn't want to be all like sad. What do you listen to when you're not listening to? Your, like, if I if I was to grab your phone right now, what would I find? In there? <laughs> what kind of music would I find in there randomly? Weird, weird music. I listen to um, a lot of different shit, but I think R and B is always like my first love. Is your go to? Yeah, I love R and B. I love soft pop, soft rock. I like alternative music a lot. So, um, when you got the four thousand followers, is that where you started taking it more seriously? Or was this like from the beginning, this is what I'm gonna do? So when I was younger I used to say silly things like I'm gonna be I'm gonna be famous one day, I'm gonna da da da. But like I had I never really looked at this like it's a job it's a job. I also have immigrant parents. Okay. So the like pursuing a creative a, like a career in like being a creative is not really pushed on you or really yeah. like offered to you if that makes sense. Um so yeah, I didn't I didn't really think it was an option, but when that happened, I was like, people started reaching out. They're like, you should come by the studio, you should learn how to write and learn how to record, and I was like, oh, okay. And I honestly didn't think. I just said yes to everything, and <laughs> it got me here, honestly. I think that's the trick. I think people ask me a lot, like, so, like, what did you do? And I'm like, just literally say yes. Right. Just show up. Which artists, female artists, do you look at right now, and, and you fell in love with them? from the beginning and you still love what they do I love SZA I think she's undeniable I love Kali Uchis I've loved her music mm. since her first project mm -hmm. um, though I would say those two and we, we talked about um, let me ask you a question I'm going to date myself right now because mm. old school is different for different people old school for me is different to you what's old school to you oh my god this is embarrassing tell me it's not embarrassing but it's like I'm young so um, old school to me, I would say like Anita Baker. That's that's old school. That's old school. That's old school. That's old school. That's 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 real old school. It's way, it's way, it's <laughs> I, thought, I thought you was gonna say um, Keisha Cole and no, to that's... to a degree. She's not old school. No, okay, old school is like oldies. You think of like Anita Baker, Anita Baker. Marvin Gaye, yeah. Al Green. Right. Okay. Now you. She's right. She's not yeah. right name. So you, are, are you well versed on on that music? Don't quote me. But I know I know a little one too. Why? Were you gonna test me? I'm just saying, you know, if, <laughs> if, if because if Anita Baker is old school for you, that means you listen to it before. I love Anita. Give me two Anita Baker songs. Titles. Uh, Angel. Oh, that's easy. Um. Oh my God. Rap caught up in the rapture. That's yeah, easy. big one. Okay. Um, okay. Is it caught up in the rapture of love? Yep. Is that rapture, the whole yeah. Name? Yeah. Okay. Oh, rapture. Um. Oh my God. It. it this is gonna piss me off. Hold on. You can you don't give me three? I could definitely give you three. Sweet love. Mm, there you go. <laughs> yeah, Sweet there love. You she go. got that too. You got Sweet some love. good with you. There you go. <laughs> you know how I first heard Anita Baker? Oh. I will never forget. My dad forced me to go to tennis lessons one summer and I was pissed. I was like, I'm not doing this. And he was like, You're going. And then my tennis coach, he was this like very quirky like man. He was older. And he played her music one day in the car. He had this beat up old Camry, and he was playing it. And I was like, "She, who is this?" Right. I fell in love. And then he found out I could sing, and then he wanted to be my manager. It became a whole thing. He wanted to put like, the tennis rackets away. And he wanted to like, manage you. Put the damn things away. Like fourteen, away. I was like, "Sir." Yeah, that's technical. Nita's one of the one of the great ones. You like Shade, I like Shade. Yeah. She's another one. And Ashante, too. You, we talk about Ashante. I love Ashante, yeah. I grew up on her. I grew up on her, Alicia, Beyonce. Mm -hmm. is, is, it, is it one artist that you heard that made you want to do this? Uh, 
that made me want to do music. Mm-hmm. No one really made me want to do music. I think I just, they used to line me and my brothers up and make us sing. And over t- and all of our home videos, like I said, we were always singing. So over time, you could start to hear that my brothers couldn't sing. Yeah. But you could hear that I could, could sing. So I was like, just y'all, always... Y'all gonna go play basketball. They were like, okay, next. Um, <laughs> but I was the girl who could sing growing up. Okay. So no one really made me want to sing. I think it was just something I was forced to do. And then I ended up being really good at it. And then I ended up making friends from it. So I was oh. like, oh, okay. People like you when you could do something. So. Yeah, yeah. So you, so. so you didn't really have any inspirations coming up. It was just, I can sing. My parents seen it, and they said, yeah. "Let's go." Yeah, I mean, I wasn't even really allowed to listen to a lot of music growing up. Mm. It was only, it wasn't until I like started. Um, I got a computer and stuff, and then I found people like Keisha Cole, and I was like, oh, "Okay, hold on, mm. this is better." Okay. When I was at that listening party, right, I, I heard something. I heard, like, your music was really, like, it was really different, mm. you know? I think I told you that, too. I said, the, the drums and the, and the guitars are really different. Do you do that on purpose? Is it uh, on purpose or is that you? Is that you? Because a lot of people, you know, you hear what's on the radio. Mm-hmm. And some people, when they when they go into recording, they try to say, okay, this is, this is what radio should sound like. Mm-hmm. You didn't do that. You did no. it differently. And it was great. It sounds good. Thank you. Did you do that on purpose? Hmm. I think I have this thing where I don't like looking or being like anyone else. And like, if I see someone, if I if I copy someone, I feel like a loser. Mm. I don't know if that's like healthy to think that way, but I've always been like that. So I think I do the same thing with music. I don't think like, oh, they did that, so I want to do that. I'm always like, well, if they did it already, then it's already out. Mm-hmm. So you got to do something a little different. How involved are you uh, in your process of doing the music? Too involved. <laughs> Too involved. So you, you do writing and yeah, I do. I like. I'm very picky. I'm very particular. Mm-hmm. I like. I know what I want to say. I know when something's corny. I'm not saying that. But I don't work with a lot of people either. I work, same same crew. Cool. Yeah, same I like to work with the same people. I think now that I'm. I'm more in LA and stuff like that. I work with more people, but um, for a long time, I was very like, I fuck with you, you should do my whole project. I fuck with you, you should write with me the whole Now, time. if I also ask the producers, are you easy to work with? What would the producer, <laughs> what would the producers say if we was to ask them, how was she to work with? She's crazy. No, they probably, um, she knows what she wants. I hear mm-hmm. that a lot. Oh, you really know what you want. Now, when you went to LA, everyone, everyone just goes to LA to make it. How was that stay in LA initially? How was it? Was it as easy as people? Because it could be hard. Mm-hmm. You know, I always hear the story. I slept on my manager's couch. Yeah. I slept in the car for for a year. How was that first year in LA for you? I've had some stories. I've had some situations where I'm like, oh, I'm really thugging it right now. Mm-hmm. But um, I like to think I'm a very blessed person. And every time I question, like, am I supposed to be doing this? Things always just kind of work out for me the way they're supposed to. So I never really. Um, I never struggled too much mm-hmm. where I was like, okay, I got to go home. I was you, like, um, I can deal with this. I can. So you say uh, you don't you don't deal with a whole lot of people. So when you find that producer mm-hmm. and you kind of click, mm-hmm. you know, do you do you say, all right, like you said, do my whole project. Sometimes a label won't let you do that. They'd be like, we need this sound, mm-hmm. that sound. Do you, do you rather working with one person when it clicks like that and just – rock out like we're going to do this because you're comfortable with that person yeah and i and i'll let other people be involved but i do think there's something about music and chemistry i i've heard a lot of things um in the past where two people or like a group of people work together and they make magic and then the person goes off to like go do something completely different and the magic is kind of lost so i just feel like if it's what is it if it ain't broke don't fix it yeah yeah like that i just Mm-hmm. I feel like if something works and you feel that chemistry, just keep going. This, this industry can be kind of hard for a female, for a beautiful girl, too. What would you oh, s- tell you. to li- a young lady right now trying to do what you're doing? What should they look out for and be careful of? Because it can be wild. Mm. It can. You know? It can be wild. Um, Is it the people don't... you keep around you? Do, do yeah, you I mean, I focused? don't play. I don't even play like that. Mm-hmm. I'm very... um. Straightforward. And I'm very blunt. Talk, talk I'm people. very blunt. I don't know. I'm very <laughs> blunt. Um, 
but I, I have been also lucky to have a I have a very good team. Okay. And a very I've always just had really good people around me. I feel like I attract good people. Um, but I would tell her, don't be afraid to speak your mind, and don't worry so much what people think about you, because people have opinions on everyone. What's the goal? What do you want to do? What's Sirens though right now. What's next? What's next is uh, I'm working on bodies of work. Mm -hmm. I want to create enough music to last me a really long time, and I just want to keep creating, whether it's music or art or acting or whatever it is I, I want to do. I just want to keep. I just want to be creative and make art. Have you had a uh, chance to uh, talk to the weekend? Of course. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> What have he told you or any advice he's given you for this business? Uh, what's his best advice? Uh, probably like stick to your vision. Mm. Stick to your vision and know what you want. I mean, he's like the prime example of that, I would say. Do you like touring? I do. Really? Do you like every every bit of touring? I really do. I think I think it um, it's very humbling for sure. And it teaches you about rejection and appreciation and I don't know it like it kind of you know artists spend a lot of time in the studio we spend a lot of time sitting and creating and thinking and that's I, I've, I've always been like that's the really fun mm -hmm. part but seeing it come to life and seeing people singing your songs being like I love you and then that's gotta I, be a crazy I don't know feeling. yeah like to me that's like I love it mm. now your road manager. Is this your road manager here? Your manager? Yes. Now, if we were to ask her, how are you to work with? Is she easy to work with? Does <laughs> she get up on? Now, I got to give you guys credit. Usually when artists come in here, they either come in here late, Reg, or mm -hmm. they come in here with 25 people in this little room right now. You guys came on time. You, you told me you are going to be late, but you was actually on time. Yep. Pulled up. Just you two. I appreciate that. That's I ain't, ain't, ain't going to hold you. Normally, I'm out here at 10 o'clock. <laughs> he said we got the uh, interview at 11. I was set. For about one, two o'clock today. Can I tell you guys something? I was so I woke up so <laughs> tired with a sore throat. I was like, I can't do it. You and tried to like, cancel on us. I, I wasn't going to, and then I was like, What am I talking about? And I just got up and put on the sweatsuit and came. I appreciate it because I told Davy, Davy, she got to come up because I drove to New York all the way to, just know. to see her. I know. And it was worth it too. I know. I'm so happy I came. All right, now let's switch, switch the topics a little bit. Mm -hmm. Ethiopian food, Reg. You don't like spicy food. <laughs> you, you don't, you don't, you don't like, like spicy, spicy food. food. What would you suggest for me? You don't like spicy food? Nah, I don't like curry. I don't like hot. Um, so Curry's not hot though. It's hot. But it, to it's, me. it's it's it, it, got, it has yeah. a lot of spice to it. Not yeah. act, It's it's very flavorful. Yeah. I think I think Americans get like thrown off sometimes by like too many flavors too many in one dish. Flavors. Yeah, like they obviously the flavors that they know. Yeah. But what would you suggest for me? I'm going to an Ethiopian restaurant. I'm going to sit down. I don't want to think. What, what am I okay. going to get? You're going to get alicha. alicha? That is alicha. Okay. That is, um, uh, it's very mild. But um, a lot of our food is um, lentil based. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. like lentils. And mm. I'm going to go on. I'm going to know what I'm talking about. If, if it's healthy, I'm going to go we ain't gonna eat That's much so of it. Sad. What is the uh, what is the <laughs> what is the Ethiopian dish like? The main dish that like my favorite. Your favorite, yeah. No, no, like your favorite, but also mm. the main dish in Ethiopia. I don't want to answer that because I'm gonna answer it wrong and they're gonna come <laughs> for me. I don't even. But she's wanna, not Ethiopian. I don't want to answer that. If you was to like like if I was to visit Ethiopia, mm -hmm. what 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 is something I would have to try before leaving there? Uh, don't know what. It's, it's, um, oh my God, it's like onions and I make, I'm going to make it sound gross, but it's so good. And there's spices to it and there's chicken in it and there's like a boiled egg. It sounds crazy, but it's so it's good. It's good? It's so good. All right. Mm. And you really only get it on like, we at like weddings and. Oh, well, it's not like something they make no. every Sunday. Or no, special I wish. Meal. I wish. What's your favorite? That. That's your favorite? Dodo what, yeah. All right. I'm going to watch, watch right now. But you would like Goman. Goldman, you would like shiro. I'll say that wrong. Don't throw me off. Yeah, yeah. I'll check. I'll text he may, he may, he may, he may shiro after eating. Yeah, check me the name of the stuff. Yeah, I will. Shiro. Shiro. I will. <laughs> you would like that, though. Yeah? Yeah. We got to have you come back here and do a performance for us. 
We I would love, love that, to. You know, how we, how was uh, how was your performance? What is, is it? High energy, laid back. For this tour, it is. It's like very high energy, very mm. um, uh, high energy, very like. Sexy. sexy. Yeah. I, okay. Okay. I, I I can I can see that part. I can see like a, some smooth sexiness mm-hmm. going on. Who you want to work with in the future? If there was one person you could work with in the future, who would that be? You you, you got no, money's not an object. See, you got to give them more than object. one though, because there's money's so many people. You got to give them more than one. Like if you, piece, okay. Four, no. Okay. Four, if she had a whole. If you got a project. Mm-hmm. A project of six songs. And I had to have one person do the whole thing. Nope. Nope, you're going to have a feature on all six songs. Who's making that album or that EP? Oh, my God. Uh, Lana Del Rey is okay. one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, Kanye West is one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, the Weeknd. Okay. There you go. The right answer. Good answer. You got to get that right. Um, this is like, like my, Mount, my Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Mount Rushmore. Uh... Track four. I'm blanking. Uh, I like Charlie XCX right now, so okay. I'll say her. Okay. Um, you can throw Anita Baker on you? Just because. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll put Anita on there. Imagine that. Okay, that's, that's, that's album there. five. Honestly, that's, Andre. That's, I would have Andre on my back. Okay, so Anita and Andre 3000. Yeah, I'll say those. those that's two. a platinum album. I wish. That's platinum. I got I, I to gotta give you credit. You came through. When I first saw you, I said, David, we got to get her to come to the studio, and you're here. Of course I'm here. You know, so we appreciate you stopping by here. I know you got a ton of things to do. You have to drive to D.C. or something. Yes. Oof. That's what you're that's showing? See all my habashas mm. for people. Yeah. That's, uh, and I'm going to have Ethiopian food. The shittish. How, um, how often you get uh, you say it right? The no. shit is what? What did you just the say? Shit-ish. The shit is. He said he said he's the shit. The shit. The shit. No, the shit do. What is it called? The shitty. Shit-o. Shit-o. Oh, damn. Oh my god. <laughs> I said shit Don't Shit-do. ever say that again. He said shit. Shit do. He yeah. said it with a D. Let him go and eat Shit-to. some shit ish. Shit too. <laughs> Shido. 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 Like Skittles. Oh my god. You're making, you're making me look like, like a bad teacher. Shittles. S-H- I know you're not a not bad teacher. Not shittles. S-H-I-R-O. You're embarrassing what is, S- Spell it again. S-H-I-R-O. Mm-hmm. Like pyro, but oh, shiro. Oh, like, 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 no, like sh- shiro. No, shiro. No, it's... It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like um no, how the gyro is a, is a yellow. It's interview. So it's like man. shiro. Shiro. There you yeah, go. See that? Now you're making fun of me. I told <laughs> That's you, so listen, sad. you're a great teacher. He's a bad student. You're a bad student. <laughs> How are you? Thanks for coming. We appreciate Thank you. Thank you for having me.